So you've got this one life, and you've got money in it. And money, people put on a pedestal because it's one of the three biggest concerns we have. And people don't look at their money logically. They peck at it like they're chickens. They delay instant gratification for future reward, illogically. When in reality, if you've done a good job of all of those things, all of those things I talked about, pedaling uphill, driving cars till the wheels fall off, saving a little money in the 401k, paying down debt, all wise financial decisions. So if you're 40, 50 years old, just keep doing it. Keep fighting the good fight. Find friends and allies around you doing the same thing. Get out of the Great American Peeing Contest, the All Hat No Cattle Contest, where everyone's kind of status signaling, looking at you through your nostrils. But all of you 65, 75-year-olds, you got a half million bucks, you got a million bucks, allow that money to bless you and your family. That money's creating dividends, it's creating interest. Allow those dividends and interest payments to flow to your bank account, which will ultimately create surplus income. And I know some of you are like, well, Adam, if I take it from my IRA, I'll pay taxes. What do you think, your kids aren't going to pay taxes when you die with it? In fact, they'll probably pay more in taxes when you look at $34 trillion in debt. At this very moment, we have one of the most agreeable tax brackets that we've ever had throughout American history. Allow the money to flow to your bank account. And if your bank account starts to swell, in overflow, maybe you start your retirement with $30,000 and it grows to 50, 60, 70. Well, that overflow is money that you have permission to spend. And the very best way to spend that is through creating experiences, in my opinion. This is what the books talk about. It talks about how to lay your life out in a way where you have surplus income. In, 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 in any part of that little rant I just did, Did I talk about the alpha or the beta of a portfolio? Did I talk about dividend yields? Did I talk about why a fixed indexed annuity with an added income rider might benefit your retirement? Or REITs or private REITs. Tony Robbins' new book talks all about alternative assets that are uncorrelated to the market. We can geek out with you on all of those instruments. But before we start talking about investment selection, we need you to buy into what we're talking about. One life, one life, bucket of money. Use the bucket of money to make your one life more impactful and enjoyable. 